of us that were working together, was, uh, five of us working together at a company called Domo. Angular was still pretty new, and one of them just had this idea, hey, we should do an Angular conference. Year one, our tickets sold out in 10 seconds. Well, it was probably like five seconds. All of our tickets, we were just completely blown away. It was super crazy. Why did I, I don't know, it's a habit by now, it's my fifth year at EngineCon. So this is where all your buddies are and you hear all the latest stuff, so for me I come every year because I get to hang out with my friends and get up to date. Uh, this is my favorite conference. It's my third time here, but specifically I came to give a workshop with Yuri Shaket on virtual reality and just to hang out with my friends in the Angular community. We put on a lot of activities that I feel like are enjoyable and fun and welcoming and inclusive and something for everybody here. I think that's a really good reason to come to NGConf. Yeah, to give my session on optimizing connecting your application and hang out with like all the awesome people around. It's a great, great conference, lots of awesome people, uh, so I always have a good time here. This is my third year at NGCon. It still gives you the feeling of a small conference. There is a lot going on, but you still get to meet everybody that you want and to speak to them and to share experiences. And it's just so special. Uh, just to learn, you know, to socialize, meet some of the Angular uh, team or Angular core team uh, members and uh, just learn basically and have fun. Another good reason, of course, is to come and see the Angular team and meet them and chat with them, uh, have a good time with them. Great people, lots of fun, great talks. Um, yeah, so that's why. from some of the more advanced users in the community. Sometimes I uh, don't have a lot of access to that in just my, my little community at home, so uh, that's a big part of it for me too. Stackwoods. Stackwoods was small. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Basil actually, or Basil, however you want to say it. Hopefully it gets integrated to the CLI sooner rather than later so we can start using it. And I would say Angular Elements has been something that I kind of see like dozens of use cases that we could use that for. So. The content is super high quality. The talks have been great. Hanging out with the people um, that I've known for a little while now, uh, talking and sharing ideas, it's always my favorite thing. I think getting up to date, of, like it's always good to see, not so much getting up to date, but like looking forward. Like so knowing what is everybody else excited about, because that's the stuff that is going to become the future. So just seeing what everyone else is excited about helps you kind of predict where you should spend your time learning. I loved the entire atmosphere. Everyone is very friendly. I met a lot of interesting people, like great engineers. I met really like, artists, and we had very interesting discussions about machine learning, even painting, like variety of topics. So I really loved uh, the entire event. What makes Angular community so special? Yeah, I like the, the character of the community. Everyone is very passionate about what they're doing. The people. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know that's everyone says, but it's because it's absolutely true. Uh, the people is what makes this technology amazing. The focus on not just the technology, but the people and like, like people feel welcome. There's so many people doing it, you can kind of bond over it. It's, it's very helpful. Uh, whenever I have a question, uh, I go to the jitter and um, ask questions and I Generally, within 15-20 minutes, I get an answer. So I'm not stuck anywhere. So that's the one, one of the best thing about Angular community. The sense of community, 
Um, being able to talk to anyone and everyone and everyone's approachable and friendly. Um, I think that's been my most exciting part is just being able to connect and talk with people. Meeting people who are just really involved in the community. Um, we have maybe five or six Angular teams at my work, but just being around so many people that have so much expertise in different areas is really cool to be a part of. You learn a lot of new technologies and maybe existing technologies that you didn't necessarily know about. Almost every single talk I go to, I come away with something that we can implement in what we're building right now that could make it more efficient or faster to build um, or easier for other people to incorporate. I think that this is like the Angular conference to be at. If you want all of the experts in one place, I would definitely come here. People, everybody here is kind of, <clears throat> I feel like everybody learns from each other. Like, oh, you're doing this. Like, we just sat at a table, they're upgrading from Angular. It's like, yeah, we kind of did that. Kind of just talking through things. Everybody either feels the struggles, we all feel the same thing, or we enjoy the same things, and it's nice to learn from everybody else as well. There's a lot of great tools being inspired by other, or created by other developers uh, from the needs and struggles that people go through every day. So it's pretty cool. I was brought in to the community a few years ago and really welcomed and I found that, that that attitude really pervades the community. There's not a lot of hero worship in the Angular community. It's really open and inviting. You can really go up to anybody in the conference, whether they're a speaker or just a random person, and they're going to be friendly to you and um, ask you what you're doing and what you're working on and usually how they can help you. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Seeing how much people are willing to contribute and to collaborate and to help each other out and how nice they are to each other. Especially when you have different experience levels coming into it. It's, um, you, know, you never feel like someone's kind of downing you for not knowing something. So it's been very collaborative and a lot of people are very helpful. So it's good. Angular and it, we interpret Angular in the community, it's not just the technology, um, it is something about the people and there is a consistency. I mean, obviously, with people it changes, like from year to year there's people that come in and out of the community. Um, but for me, for the past five years, it's been pretty consistent in terms of uh, the ability to just go to anyone and ask for help and just know that uh, they, as long as you know they had time, that they want not only would help you, but they actually legitimately want to help, and that, that's uh, something you don't find everywhere. So I think that's pretty special. With the Angular team, I think that their leadership, as far as the fact that community is uh, more important than technical contribution, uh, I think that that's really what makes the community so special. Their concept of what the community should be, it just filters down to everybody, and you just kind of can't avoid it. So I think that's really what it is. A lot of communities in general, it comes from the top down. The, the people at the top who created the community and lead the community and the type of value system that they kind of espouse and, and it kind of filters throughout the community. And for Angular in particular, it's something where it's always been one of inclusion, one of helping another people. What I can say about the Angular community is that you can see that uh, people that contribute to Angular, and it's not just the Angular team, it's the entire ecosystem about uh, around Angular, they really care. They don't see uh, developers as just, you know, end users, they see them as people and they want to listen to them, they want to understand them, they want to get them involved. The one thing I would like to add is always that if you are a member of an underrepresented group or you have uh, friends who are members of underrepresented groups, encouraging people to come and apply to speak at conferences and attend conferences is something that we need as much help with uh, as we can get possibly get. We do as much as we can, but it's still just absolutely not enough. We need everybody's help to try to encourage more diversity and more representation. I'm just happy to be here and I'm happy. Angular has really made a big difference in my life and I just want to pay it forward to other people. So that's pretty much it.
enjoyed the video. <laughs> Go check out NX, our open source toolkit on top of Mango CLI. NRWL.io slash NX. Go check it out. It's free. It's open source, but it's, it's free. <laughs> it is amazing. Thank you.